If I ask you people at home what is ulcer, I'm expected to get all sorts of answers. But you know, there are three types of ulcer. But what is ulcer itself? Um, for starters, ulcer can be referred to as um, a situation in which acid eat away the stomach lining. In our stomach, we have various lining, but the one that is uppermost is called the mucosa. When that mucosa is attacked by the acid produced by gastric juice in our uh, stomach lining, uh, it will create some sores there, which will eventually lead to bleeding. That is called ulcer. The leading cause of peptic ulcer is uh, known as a bacteria called Helictobacter pyloricus. You know, that's the leading cause. Another cause is anti-inflammatory drug. Uh, I wouldn't like to mention some drugs here. But you that are ulcer sufferers, you know when you go to the clinic, they always tell you to be aware of a particular drug called aspirin. The chemical name for aspirin is acetylsalicylic acid. It has acid. Now when you have acid to your soul, what happens? Yes, your guess is good as mine. It's going to result in the intestine producing more blood. So when you stool, you see blood in your stooling. That, that is called malina stooling, you know. And uh, of course, cigarette smoking too is not good for someone who is having ulcer. Alcohol is not good. Depression and stress. When you and when you want to, if you are if you are having issues with ulcer, you should know how you stretch, especially the abdominal wall, so that it doesn't infringe on you know the ulcer. Then we have three types of ulcer, like I said, peptic ulcer, the one that occurs in the esophagus, which is called the esophageal ulcer. Then we have the peptic ulcer of the stomach. That one is called gastric ulcer. We have the duodenal ulcer. Then Diet is very, very important. But when you're having all these symptoms, you should know that probably you have ulcer. Chest pain that later spread to the back, that's in the case of esophagus ulcer. Pain in the middle belly, that is peptic ulcer. And of course, pain in the lower abdominal part, that is duodenal ulcer. Lack of appetite, severe low weight, you know. And of course, now these are the foods you should avoid if you have ulcer. Pepe. Alcohol, nicotine, caspacin, aspirin, ibuprofen, milk, beer, coffee, and caffeine. Those are the food you should avoid. Now, what are the foods you can eat? Because if you tell you to avoid those food, you can take food like avocado pear, ripe banana, like the one I just we just talked about, unripe banana, pure natural honey, fresh cabbage juice, the misto too. Doctor Okoro is on the program with us today. Doctor. Yeah, welcome to the program. Thank you. Sir. Please, can you introduce yourself more to the general public? Because I've been talking <coughs> about you for almost uh, two editions now that you are coming. Thank God you're able to make it today. Thank you very much. So please, tell, uh, introduce yourself to Nigerians. Yes, my name is uh, Dr. Ignatius Chooks Okoro. I actually developed interest in uh, finding a solution for peptic ulcer disease. And we have developed a protocol to tackle it. Dr. Kuro, why have you taken special interest in ulcer? Um, it is um, actually dated back to sometime in 2002 uh, when um, my sister was actually down with ulcer and mm. was at the point of death. Mm. I had been a, a researcher on um, herbal solutions mm -hmm. to life. Mm -hmm. My sister was diabetic, but at this time she could no more work because of uh, ulcer pain. Mm. So that was what actually triggered my interest in uh, research. Mm. So it took 14 years for us to discover and uh, confirm a solution. Mm. Um, 14 years, you see. 14 years. Because um, I took off this research in particular in 2003. I made an inroad in 2008 and then completed the patenting process internationally in 2012. Hmm. Scientifically, two major things. The first 80% population that have ulcer is caused by a, a spiral shaped bacteria that is known as Helicobacter pylori, yes. otherwise called H. pylori. Mm -hmm. It lives in, a, in the acidic environment of the stomach. Mm -hmm. This bacteria is also plays a good role in the body because 50% of the world population harbor this bacteria in their system. But when it goes to wrong places in the stomach, it begins to give problem. 
The next 20% of people who suffer ulcer is as a result of intake of non stridal anti-inflammatory drugs, mm. pain drugs, mm. pain drugs. And those, um, are, those are in majority. Yes, scientifically, these are the two major causes. For example, people think that fasting causes ulcer. Um, scientifically, all, uh, fasting will always give you the symptom that you have ulcer. Ulcers are very painful and they are very deadly. Mm. Some ulcers are actually asymptomatic, which means it does not give any pain. Mm. But to know that you are suffering ulcer is either you are having the pain, most especially sometimes uh, under the lower breastbone, mm -hmm. caused by the digestive acid, mm. which is unreceptive of the, the stomach. The stomach cannot receive it well because it's poor. The stomach is... We have another caller from Lagos. The, Mrs. Deborah from Lagos. Good afternoon. I heard that the ulcer is hereditary. It's hereditary? Yes. Is it true? Okay. Doctor. No, no. That's a delusion. Ulcer is not hereditary. You, if you want to stay out of ulcer, there are two major things you must do. Clean environment is very, very important because H. pylori breeds in a, a, a dirty environment. The reason why it is very uh, prevalent in the north probably is as a result of the kind of food. Before you make food and use your ordinary hand to mix up, mm -hmm. after going to the, uh, toilet. Uh, to the toilet, you have to wash your hands so well and sterilize it before you touch food. Otherwise, the bacteria will mut mutate inside that food, and then when you put it in your body, and then uh, you have, uh, sooner than later, you have a uh, peptic ulcer. Hmm. Also, people who are taking drugs, drugs, people who are engaging probably hard drugs, pain drugs like tramadol, that is not actually recommended hmm. for ordinary people. Hmm. It's highly say, recommended. They're supposed to be recommended by a doctor for severe pain. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are taking pain drugs generally that we need, don't need to mention. Without prescription without prescription. Pain drugs are not supposed to be taken for a long time. Like alabuku and all those things contain a lot of acid, acids, yes. which erode your system and eventually become, your, 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 your forms, forms up sores in your I stomach. Think you have